I'm having this nightmare that my phone is going to fall right into the paint. And so far, I've emptied six cups that I've had all week. And usually I use bottles, but recently I've just been doing cups. And this is the color combination, which is, to me, art in itself. I'm going to go find purple bottles so I can put the rest of the purple, but I am going to put a little purple in there because I'm going to do a painting tonight with the, these. And I'm going to call them drips. These aren't the drips. These are what's left in the containers. The drips and what Mina and everybody uses is, and me, and is what we scrape from the paintings and which is this and you can actually see the flow trough sitting on top and I just stir it up and that's a, like a purple tone so I have to use that and like I have a little bit of stuff that's left in some of these bottles, maybe I'll use some of them in there. And Priscilla Brazil, yes, I put a marble in mine. And I'm going to reuse these bottles. And this is my favorite, this is also my birthstone. And the little peridot in there, and you can hear the so this is what you do with the leftover paints. Green, a little bit more green. What is it with green lately? I don't even like green that much. You would think I do with my arms, but I don't. There's a little bit of the sapphire by um, Treasure Gold, which is out of this world. And what I do is I take the my oxo spatula, which I like the mini one for this. My mini one is this for this and for my my um, swipe paintings because you can control it a little bit better and make depth. And let's see. Oh, look, Kelly Green. Let's just finish it up and put it in there. I'm gonna have. I don't know about you, but what? It's, it's like making a cake with making stew with leftovers. To me, have you ever noticed since you started painting that everything is an art form? I don't know why I have fuchsia. This is my rose mix. I just. I want to put that in another bottle, so I will not use that much. And I do have some bottles in these. And yes, I'm wearing linen and being very paranoid about it. Um, those are great to put on top of the small cups. Yes, this is like a neon yellow mix of all kinds and I just with color flash in it and I'll just put some of that in there and that's about it I mean I will I could put some hot pink in it but I might put a little bit more purple and the thing is, you don't stir it. If you stir it, it's going to make it into drippings. And then the drippings will end up being for, like, the runoff around rings. You know, when you do the pouring ring. And, um, so this would be more like, oh, my goodness. I'm just going to put it, get this plastic board and I'll show you something. I'm just going to grab this green spoon. I'm going to take a little bit of this and imagine you're on a canvas. 
and you could do that. Uh, I'm using the green because I don't, this has a little bit of the gold in it. And you just, you could doodle. And um, tilt it. And just, it just makes different patterns. And really cool spoons. That would be a good idea. Wooden spoons. And then, I'm just highly allergic to that ceiling stuff, so... I have to figure it out. That's why I use Liquidex gloss and varnish in my paintings. So that's pretty it, much it. Tonight I'm going to be doing a painting that has a lot of orange and copper and green and stuff in it that just made this a massive pattern. And I was going to go ahead and let it dry and paint over it but I've already painted over it once before so it's it's thick so I'm using the same colors and adding a few others and just going to make some designs on top of it and I will show you those results in the next video painted love love you all bye